Hello, everyone, and welcome to I Open Flesh and Blood, the channel where I open flesh and blood. Uh, it's been a while, uh, but I have a wonderful kind of a video to come back to uh, to celebrate the recent or not so recent out of printings. Uh, I'm going to open a couple of boxes. So I have two uh, Welcome to Wraith Unlimited boxes. Um, I have two Arcane Rising Unlimited boxes, sadly not Alpha boxes. I uh, wish I had that money, but uh, we have two Crucible of War Unlimited boxes. And uh, I was gonna stop there, but uh, I had some leftover first edition boxes. It's kind of out of camera, but I have one uh, Monarch here, one Tales of Aria here. Uh, and this is actually a two-part video because I have uh, another set of all of these things that I will uh, be opening up in the next video. But yeah, let me, I'm, I'm so out of practice here. I, you can't see it on screen, but I'm just trying to figure out where to hold, put this stuff while I'm opening. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, uh, welcome, welcome. I'm kind of a slow roller. I'm kind of a rambler. It's really more of a chill session than it is anything else. So if that's not your jam, totally understand. Uh, I will talk to the people that used to listen to me a little bit, but uh, let's first start with Welcome to Wraith. The last set, the most recent set to be out of printed, but the first set in many of our hearts. As of the uh, recording, this was just announced uh, a day ago. So it's still very fresh on my mind, still very fresh on a lot of people's minds. But I know that there's, I think, an increasingly diverging camp of people of like, trust in LSS for the future and people who are kind of not trusting them as much anymore. I'm kind of in the middle there, but you know, this is my first uh, TCG. I don't really know what's normal, quote unquote. All I know is that it does feel kind of bad to out of print the first three sets, uh, especially the, the first three sets that are easiest for new people to get into. Um, but uh, anyways, I don't normally open with so many boxes, so much stuff in the way. I don't even know where to put it, but anyways, if you're a long time viewer and you're like, wow, he actually uploaded again. Uh, yeah, I actually probably have 30 videos that I have recorded. I just never got around up to uploading and, and, and then I'm like, oh, it's just too late. You know, it's just too late. What's the point? Um, so hopefully this is a joyous comeback for us all. We start with a super rare. It's pretty nice and a buckling blow. How am I going to organize this? Actually, I, I really didn't think this through when I started, but, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're looking for some good may, you know, maybe we can get four fables, five fables. That could happen. This is probably going to be a long video as well. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to try to focus it more on the unboxing rather than the uh, spiels. We have a rare and little head jab behind it. I think one of the reasons why I didn't really upload a lot of the uh, videos that I recorded was I think it became more about what I was saying and less about the opening. So let's fucking go. Okay, well, uh, I don't actually know how many of the videos that I've uploaded, but Alpha Rampage is my curse. And I, I'm now worried about this uh, this opening, but Alpha Rampage is my curse. I get it so much, and it is worthless, worthless. Um, but you know what? You get the Alpha Rampage out of the way, you make room for better stuff, right? We have Warriors Valor, and the better stuff <laughs> shows up. Hell yeah, okay. Okay, we started weird, but we're back on, baby. Tectonic plating. Again, long-term uh, uh, people will know that I have opened quite a lot of uh, Welcome to Wraith Unlimited. Uh, maybe not on the channel, but historically since I started playing this game. And uh, I don't pull tectonic platings. Uh, I actually pulled my very, very first one in a video that I don't think you have seen, but uh, I think it was like... 
I think I've pulled four hearts <laughs> before I pulled a single tectonic plating. Um, I think I pulled like seven masks. Like it, it's been crazy. So very, very, very happy to see this tectonic plating, especially now that uh, it's actually worth an okay amount. So let's go, baby. Um, the uh, the the two boxes here for Welcome to Wraith did come from a sealed case. So when I said I had uh, doubles of everything, that's because I had a case and a case and a case. The uh, single boxes of Monarch I just had lying around. So those could be really anything, but uh, well, now I think I can go a little bit faster with Welcome to Wraith, you know? Probably uh, not too much hiding around. Uh, other cards to look out for, of course, of heart, of course, but we want those E-Strikes, you know? We want those E-Strikes, especially the Rainbow Foil E-Strikes. But we're gonna start with Steel Blade Supremacy. All right, not too shabby. That's uh, two Majestics down. But this is the Japanese printing. So the normal is two to three instead of one to two. So we could have some good news here, but not quite yet. Um, uh, yeah, before we get too much further into this video, uh, if anybody is even still watching this, since it's been quite a while since I've last uploaded, uh, tell me how your feelings are on uh, Tales of Aria. It's been a quite a long time uh, since I've kind of engaged with y'all. And also, let me know your feelings on the out of printings. Because uh, a lot of times for the unboxing videos, we, I, I get new players, right? People who are new to the game. People who are trying to check things out, live vicariously. Um... How do y'all feel about the first three sets out of printing? I think in the, in the, personally, in the very short term, you know, a lot of prices have gone up, but since then, like Crucible of War, which was the first set to out of print has come back, come up, come down from, from its highs. Actually, I'm actually personally kind of surprised at how much Crucible of War Unlimited is still out there. Um, Arcane was next, but Arcane was always hard to find. Because people want need C and Cs, um, and I believe the uh, at the time of the recording, anyways, the uh, wave of Arcane that was supposed to hit stores uh, hasn't arrived yet. So Arcane is still pretty hard to find at a decent price. But you know, how long will this last? Two months? Three months? A uh, ten years? You know. I've heard some people say that there's enough uh, bulk to last for five years. You know, new players shouldn't worry because most cards will be uh, available not too difficultly. But again, the counter argument is the big ones, you know, like the, the tunic. Both instances of the tunic are now gone, you know, Command and Conquer in Line Strike. The powerful, powerful generics that uh, it seems that LSS has moved away from uh, making. So, uh, all right. I, I thought a little, I uh, baited a little bit, baited a little bit. But yeah, I, you know, I am, uh, as a person, I still have a lot of flesh and blood. I haven't like sold everything and announced that I'm quitting the game completely. But with recent events, I, I do feel like it is a little faith shaking, you know, for example, the Monarch kind of debacle, which, wow, that's three packs in a row with equipment. What's happening here? Okay. Actually weird and insane. Um, you know, I know that the unlimited uh, Monarch problem was not all LSS. Like it was a lot of problems kind of, bulge into one but a lot of the problems did stem from uh decisions that they made you know then of course the whole chain thing which you know i think was was okay until that ex explanation article came out and it highlighted a couple of interesting design choices and of course now it's it's briar time baby you know Dustblade happened. Unlimited is still, what's the point? You know? Still a weird world we live in. And we have 
Crippling Crush Rainbow Foil. All right. Not an E-Strike, which would be ideal, but you know what? We'll take something nonetheless. There's a whole lot of other things there, but, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think we got. A regular Crippling Crush. All right. And another equipment. Jeez Louise. Okay. Well, good old... Or my dog is excited. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, we got a four majestic box. Well, if this was a single box that I randomly bought, I would say we definitely won. But I think this means that uh, the other boxes in this case are uh, not the greatest. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I thought I could get through this really quickly. Now that I'm thinking about it, I may actually only open one of each box. And split this into four videos? That actually might be what I might do. Good old uh, out of order singeing steel blade. Happens in the Japanese packs and not. Maybe I'll do that. No, you know what? Let's make it a long. Let's enjoy our times together. All right. Let's enjoy our time together as I open up. My favorite set. Welcome to Wraith. And I didn't even really play. I've never played Limited. You know, I started the game after Crucible was, was released. But there's just something. I've opened it the most, I think, out of everything. Um, okay, how am I going to do this when I have more cards? Oh, no. Did not think this through. Anyways, let's open the second box. First box, we got the legendary, and we got a pretty good legendary at that, so can't say anything bad about that one. Let's see what the second box has in store. Pardon me as I uh, open this totally off camera and try to wrangle everything together. Here we go, baby. You know, there's a phone in my way. Mic in my way. But I know it's uh oh I didn't mention, of course, I went back to since this is kind of a return to basics, my original good luck card. I don't actually know which one is my good luck one. I have a, a three of these. It's just kind of like my my one, my pride and joy. I really don't know why, but uh it's just a rainbow foil uh, e strike, but it's miscut. You can see it's uh it's way too high. Not worth much, you know. I don't have a cold cold foil heart or anything like that, but I do like my three uh miscut e strikes. Um, my three out of print miscut e strikes. Ha uh ha! -huh. All right, we got more equipment. Dang, this is a shiny equipment case right here. But what are we looking for now? Obviously, an E-Strike here. Pretty much the only thing that we're hoping for here. Are there any uh, Welcome to Wraith cards that, that you're going to miss? Like I said, we don't really know the future. We know that they can print cards, or any cards, right, in the future. We know that's certainly a possibility. But you know, there's a lot of a lot of ro wiggle room there. You know, a lot of wiggle room there. Um, we got our first majestic here, Blood Rush Bellow, and find that just Kobe Bryant. All right. I hope that's you know. I hope it's not offensive to Kobe Bryant fans. Actually, one of my friends is a big Kobe Bryant fan. Fan, and the first thing he he thought when he saw that card was like, "Oh, Kobe Bryant." And so he wanted one to keep, and so I gave him one. But, you know, one person experience doesn't everybody's make, you know? All right. Got Snatch, Barraging Beat Down, and Over Power Man's like, oh, no. Don't out of print me. I want to live. 
I did not think this through. I have absolutely no space around this table. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be crazy. And I gave myself an out. I could have only just done one each, but no. This is commitment. Maybe I should have streamed this. Oh well. All right, time snap. Staunch response and a hurricane technique. I will not miss the foils, though. Uh, not only is the Japanese print just darker in general, but like the the foiling in uh, in the original sets, it, uh, barring a couple cards, just very lackluster. Arcane is probably the worst one. The Monarch light cards are fine, but the shadow cards are so dark that like you can't really see Jack. It doesn't help that the Tales of Ari ones are just so good, but and you get a little bit spoiled. Like when the light shines directly on it, rising neath thrust. Not too bad. Not too bad. But I do look forward to future sets. Obviously Everfest was announced before I uh before the last video. I'm not personally a fan of uh carnival theme. I think it it will be great in in Flesh and Blood, but you know, I I just don't carnivals just like aren't fun to me. Like I I don't think carnival and I think ooh, a fun time. I think like kind of shitty, smells bad. You know, I don't know why that's what I think, but that's just what I think. Um, and so, but also I wasn't a huge fan of the, of the cup, the first Aria cards either. I was actually kind of like, oh, these landscape shots, not really my thing. Um, it's like, it's like so much color. What's going on here? Um, but now it's like, oh my gosh, so much color. What's going on here? Ooh, ooh, the scenery. Ooh, the tree looks great. You know, so. Let it be known that my opinions can change, and I will, you know, change them and apologize for it. Uh, but so far, this second box, as uh, expected, uh, not good. <laughs> not good. Again, a, a friendly reminder to uh, that, to buy cases when you can if you uh, have the means to. All right, this pile over here is getting real big. Barraging beat down. Flusterfus. Warriors color. But yeah. Oh my gosh, we're still not done with Welcome to Wraith. Um What are your thoughts on yeah, how are they gonna reprint things? You know? Actually I read a really interesting idea that I didn't even think of, which is since they never released starter decks, or sorry, they did release starter decks for Welcome to Wraith. But they never reprinted them, and so therefore, not super useful for for starters uh, anymore. Um, anyway, so they they haven't had any in print for quite a long time. Never had one for Arcane. Um, that two two reprint cards, they can make starter decks, right? Like a Katsu starter deck that has a bunch of super rares in it, and maybe even some of the the majestics, you know. Um, like I, actually that would be really cool, you know? I always thought that they needed to do like a like a full core set again, but the starter decks really do, do, does like two thirds of the work there. So I actually thought that was a really cool idea. Um Triple Ninja. So I'm warming up to that idea. You know, you can sneak crew cards in there, right? Uh pretty easily. But, you know, all eyes are on the question mark set or question mark product. We don't really know what it will be. And honestly, by the time I finish opening up all these boxes, we might know because it might be 2040. I am kind of going slow, though, because, again, in a, in a couple of the... Ooh, Glint the Quicksilver. All right, that's our second Majestic. Um... In the non-uploaded videos, I, I started to get bored, and and because I opened a bunch of Aria, and I just was blasting through, which is good for YouTube length, not good for suspense. But am I actually any any suspense going on here? Like, look at this, look at this spoil. Like, this is nothing. 
Like, yes, direct light. Okay, kind of cool. But beyond that, what is that? What is that? Oh, this is a, it's a fighter pack right there. All right, we only have three more packs here. This does seem to be the dud, the dud box of the case. But we got many boxes left. I'm actually kind of excited to open Monarch because I have not opened Monarch in so long after swearing it off because, <laughs> you know, the ex general everything about Monarch. Maybe I'll, I'll open one pack and I'll remember the pain, you know? All right, last pack. Steel Blade Shunt. Leg tap. Well, rest in peace. Welcome to Wraith. I will open uh, or have one more episode of this, but uh, at least for this, you are done. Let's move this junk out of the way. I, I truly did not think this through, y'all. This is when I, I, you know, if I had a wife or had a kid or something, I'd be like, somebody please, please help me put this and bring it to another table. But not me. It's just me and this mountain of cardboard. That's, that's all I got. And I guess you, people who are watching, and my dog, I guess, is bored over there. Making trouble. Um, all right. Well, as a quick recap, we did not get any enlightened strikes, which is uh, not great. But we did get the tectonic plating. So at least right now we are a net positive. I'm gonna let's keep this tectonic plating here just to, as a reminder of the wins so far. Next, let's go over a little bit. Arcane Rising. Let's go. Arcane Rising has is always been my favorite set to open because I've always had the my best luck is with Arcane Rising. I uh, I probably just jinxed it right now at this moment. I, I don't know if I've ever have I ever opened Arcane Rising on this channel. I doubt it. Because of course we did the uh, how much does it cost to open a full set for Welcome to Wraith, which I actually finished, but I never uploaded it. Uh, rip. Um. Anyways, I've always had the best luck with Arcane Rising. I know that means right now it's uh, not going to be, but let's do it for the do it for the YouTube. All right. Oh man, the cards feel so different after the Japanese cards. We got Silver the Tip, Blazing Aether, and Dim did not Dimension Dissipation Shield. All right. I know there's also a a, a whole uh, thing of like some people prefer the the Japanese print, some people prefer the Belgian pin, print. I am a hundred percent on the Belgium, or sorry, the uh, the uh, Japanese print side. I fully understand that there are pros and cons. Neither one's perfect, but and what what's weird is that the Welcome to Wraith Japanese printing is different than the Crucible of War Japanese printing, but. Uh, I just like the cardstock better. I like the foiling better, even though it is more muted for certain cards. But I like my foils uh, flatter and uh, with uh, way better corners and centering. Uh, not perfect, but you know, a little bit better. All right, Arcane Rising. I actually don't know if I'm gonna bother at putting numbers. I probably will not, just so that I can actually upload this. Chains of Eminence. And a Tome of the Ark Knight, Rainbow Foil. All right. Like, look, come on. I guess his mouth a little bit in the book, a little bit, but just Arcane Foils, man. Oh, right there. Arcane Foils. Speaking of, we all know what the hits are. We want that Command and Conquer. All right. We want that Skull Cap. I feel like I'm not going to get them, though, because... I think the last case that I opened for Arcane was uh, 
was a hot one. And we all know luck is finite, right? Right. Taking. Like, okay, look, what is this? What is this? Is this a foil? I mean, like, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Just a sad, just a sad foil right there. But you know what? It's not a sad foil. An eye for an eye. All right. Well, I tried. Try to do a little bit of throwback flavor right there. I I can hear my dog digging. I really hope it's not. She's not ripping up carpet right now. We got a silver the tip again. Oh, this one's a little bit better. I guess the background a little bit. A little bit. But yeah, I have a huge, uh, you know, um, white box, like a five row white box of foils. And man, the Ar arcane ones are warped. I don't know why the arcane ones are warped more than the Welcome to Wraith ones, but some of them getting real pringly. Probably should have put them in sleeves and try to flatten them, but. You know, especially now that, you know, things are out of print. If I, you know, I might be a millionaire in 50 years, you know. Then I probably shouldn't have been opening these boxes so willy-nilly. Pedal the metal. Oh, no. We got more equipment. All right. First half of the box almost done and no Majestics at all or higher. Oh, speaking of which, we got our Majestic, Mordred Tide. All right. You know, just like, I mean, this is the problem kind of with uh, Welcome to Wraith and Arcane Rising, you know, if it's not CNC or, or Art of War, I sleep. We got that Punder Run. Great, great card. As long as uh, Aggro Heroes exist, I think Plunder Run... Gonna be good. Conve convection amplifier. Life for a life. Please. Please give me more death, I guess. More death. All right. Well, I do have a curse in my videos, which is oftentimes I. It's like one or the other, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, this is okay. It's a good for good for. Good boy. Um, it's uh, I peak really early and then the rest of the video is like nothing going on. Or I peak really, really late and then for most of the video, nothing's going on. So, whoop, equipment again. But, you know, you smell equipment. Maybe one day they'll be worth something. I actually don't even know how much they are. I feel like they're always like a two dollars or less. The ninth blade of the blood oath, ether spindle. All right, three boxes almost down, and my elbows already hurt. Spellblade assault, it's life for a life. Hamstring. Oh no, things are falling. You can't see it, but things are falling. We have Lesson in Lava. Yeah. Is this the first box magic? What is this? What is this? It looks like Storm Striders, which I don't know if I want, but here we go. And it is the Storm Striders. Okay, okay. We got a legendary. Not exactly the one that uh, you want. Not exactly the one that you want. But not the worst one. <laughs> the Ranger one is definitely the worst one. So I will take it. I will take it. I think maybe one day, because, you know, Wizard hasn't gotten any help yet. Any new heroes. Maybe one day. It will be Storm Strider's chance to shine. But, you know, similar to Tectonic Plating, you know. Um, all right. Well. Both first boxes got the legendary. That that is uh that is interesting right there. Oh, this is empty wrappers. 
All right. Well, I guess, uh, again, that means uh, the rest of the uh, arcane box is pretty empty. We can go a little bit faster here. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling, you know? Life for life. Arena's prayer. Come to fight. All right. I don't really remember what I was talking about before, as per usual. But sometimes you just got to keep moving your mouth hole when you're making these videos. Take cover. In two. Take aim. In two. Take my eye. I already knew it wasn't, but I. it took me too long to come up with what I was trying to say. All right. Well, that is box number one for Arcane Rising. Will we change it up? Will the second box have the goodies? Again, that is one of the, the benefits of Arcane Rising, right? It's got, it's got some goodies. You know, pulling a CNC is worth more than the Legendary. So we still got lots of chances for some hits here. I truly am now stacking things in a bad spot. All right. Box number two. Let's go fast. You know, if we go fast, it'll happen, right? Boom, boom. Damn. No first pack magic. I will. I'll take a heart. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, I. I'll take, well, damn. Well, hello again. You might be wondering why the camera just skipped and some weird audio thing happened, and that's because my camera died, uh, a.k.a. my phone decided to freeze. Uh, but I'm back. I'm back. Still with the same pack. Didn't do anything weird. I did clean up a little bit, so we have that. Um, but it is uh, 30 minutes later because I could not figure out what was going on. Uh, turns out, you know, you turn everything on and off. It's bound to it's bound to work again. So no earthly idea where I what I was saying. But we're back at it. All right. I didn't want to all this to go to waste. Wanted to make sure we got the content out there. And we have our first Rainbow Foil Majestic for Arcane. And we got Arknight Ascendancy. All right. Well, it looks like the uh, Rainbow Foil CNC Dream is dead. So I would like a CNC, please. <laughs> it's definitely a feels bad when uh, you open up an entire case and you don't get a CNC. Um, but we do have an endless arrow and a moon wish. Well, I wish for a CNC because that's where all the money is, baby. Is CNC going to be reprinted? Some people say no and they're fine with it. Some people say no and they panic. Some people say yes, it will be reprinted. So you know what? Answers all over. <laughs> Answers and panic all over but you know I do hope that in future sets there are more exciting cards to open that's why I really like opening brand new sets because you know there are exciting cards every legendary is exciting if they have cool interesting cards you know that's exciting you know alt arts that I never pull ever in my life um Obviously, this is not a problem with Flesh and Blood, necessarily. Uh, just that I've opened a million of these, but, you know. There's not that much uh, interesting stuff, but I think that's pretty common. Speaking of common, we got Sonic Boom, not Command and Conquer. Well, yikes. So, at least there is uh, maybe some drama for the next episode. We did hit the legendaries, but we didn't hit the uh, East Strike or CNC, so there is still hope for money to uh, come back into our lives. Very happy that uh, they weren't legendary list boxes because that has happened to me many times. It would be very painful for this kind of 
out of print celebration uh, for that to happen. But uh, yeah, actually, I again, uh, long term listeners might know, but I, I do have like a spreadsheet of uh, pretty much tracking all of my openings. And I finally kind of added up all of my pools and things like that. I don't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head, but I do know that I am slightly luckier um, than normal for Arcane Rising. As I said, I've been pretty lucky with that. Um, I'm pretty normal with the suggested pull rates for Welcome to Wraith, but I am d below average on Monarch and Tales of Aria. <laughs> Um, Crucible of War is it doesn't really matter because you know there's only two legendaries but uh, and I didn't really open uh, an insane amount uh, I, I've i said it before but I have notorious bad luck in Crucible of War so I don't even want to talk about that really too much uh, um, but it's okay it's okay that could change in an instant but yeah I'm pretty much going uh you know, my better sets into my worst sets, I guess, is uh, generally what I'm trying to ramble about. But yeah, shout outs to anyone who is still here. This is going to be a long ass video. But I really hope that there's some spice at the end there for y'all and for me. All right, not too many packs left. I don't think there's going to be much spice left. Maximum velocity foil. Cool, cool, cool. Is there going to be a new mech hero anytime soon, or is it just going to be all room blades, baby? A fun mech hero, ninja hero. Still waiting for that wizard. So yeah. Lots to look forward to. It does feel like a million years away, even though it, it's not, but it does feel like it's gonna be a long time. Uh even for Everfest, but that's just the supplemental, you know. If they follow the same patterns as Crucible of War, which we have no earthly idea if they will, they like to break pattern all the time. Um, but Crucible didn't have any adult heroes, you know, only, uh, Blitz ones. Uh, will they do another Mordred Tide? Okay, not what we wanted, not what we wanted, but Runeblade. Always good to get Runeblade cards just in case there's another Runeblade that's monstrous. You know, you never know. Although I don't believe either of them play Mordor Tide, but actually I could be wrong. I don't really remember very well because I'm an idiot. And speaking of idiot, that is those two boxes done. All right, let's be very careful with the stacking that I'm about to do as you're looking at my fingers. We have Crucible of War next. Can we get another legendary? Mm hmm. And then we have uh, one random box of Monarch and one random box of Tails. I should probably be a better YouTuber and be like, opening $500 of boxes, but I feel like that's not that impressive anymore. I mean, there are YouTubers that open like, you know, alpha boxes on the regular, so. Um, but I could. Could clickbait that a little bit. All right, let me give Storm Striders a little bit of space. You know what they say, the feet need some space. Let's move this off of uh, the Crucible here. And let's get started. I actually, again, I opened up uh, a couple Crucible Unlimited cases right after the outer print because it was the set that I opened the least because I thought I had plenty of time to, to get a set and all that good stuff. Went out of print. People were panicking because it was the first set going out of print and people didn't really know what to expect. And I did panic by a couple of cases. Um, had some pretty decent luck, actually. 
I did open a Shauna and a Shard, which, again, for long-time listeners, shout-outs. Um, but I opened a lot of Crucible of War 1st Edition, and I was hunting a Shiana, let alone a Shard. Uh, and uh, 40 boxes in, uh, I didn't get either, so... <laughs> At least I got it in Unlimited, finally, but, oh right, this is pool tab time. Let's get to it. First pack, ooh, again, third set and third, the cards just feel different every set. How does this work? It's six, and now it's seven, and then it's, ooh, starting with Rainbow Full and Nebula Blade, okay, and then Rare and Rare. I'm going to be so confused from now on after this. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have, uh, okay, a Crucible of Aether Weave Rainbow Foil. We've got the OG Weapon Rainbow Foils here. Okay. And we get another one. Let's see. Seven. No emerging dominance. Massacre, our first majestic. Wait, did I? Yeah, this goes here. This goes here. Massacre. All right. What are we looking for in this set? So, value is spread out a decent amount in this set, but I would say remorseless. Um, and some of the equipment, the majestic equipment. We have. Soul Beat Strike, Rain Dance, Centauri Saber. All right. See, it's I'm gonna change this because I'm gonna be forever confused. But at least in this set, foils go before the rares. All right. Courage of Blade Hold, Crater Fist, Gambler's Glove. I don't really know which other ones are decent, but any of those would be nice. Towering Titan, Rock Slide Trap. Okay. Uh, rest in peace, super rares. You will never be seen again. <laughs> At least not in the near future. Uh, salt the wound. Tripwire. I actually never really minded super rares. Like, I actually think that now that we have all majestics, it's the same problem. Um, where you have Majestics that are worth nothing because they're... Oh, well, speaking of Remorseless, we got ourselves a Rainbow Foil Remorseless. Man, Azalea has got some dark cards. Got some dark cards, both literally and figuratively. All right, you know what? I will take that Remorseless. Ab so fucking lutely. Um, I don't actually know if, if Lexi is still, like, highly sought after now that that briar deck is exists now but oh i thought this was something but it is something the crack bobble and the snag behind it okay i'll take a rainbow foil crack bobble and i guess i'll take a snag there was a period where they were worth some money and now they're worth nothing so <laughs> should have sold some i should have sold some um but uh yeah back to what i think i was saying was about super rares like now we have majestics that are effectively super rares you know um and because you're increasing i feel like the the rate of pulling a single singular majestic doesn't even change that much so like you really it really is just super rares in it in everything but name you know but i think that's a that's more of a set design problem i guess than a super rare majestic problem um, but Crucible, I'm not, I'm not saying bad things about you. Okay. I, 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 yeah, I want you to treat me right. I didn't talk about, you know, I'll, I'll, other cards. I'll take a Krunik. I'll take a Krunik. Absolutely take a Krunik as well as a shard. You know, maybe you heard me like the remorseless, you know, maybe you heard me over blast. Maybe you didn't hear me. I've actually never opened a, a Japanese Monarch Unlimited or Japanese Tales of Aria Unlimited, so I don't know if they're more like these feeling cards or if they're more like 
the um, the Welcome to Wraith Jap Japanese feeling cards. But we got a Heron's Flight, another Majestic here. That brings us to four. Oops, try to open it like normal again. All right, we need an equipment. We haven't got one yet. Crush the week. Kayo, or is it Kayo? Six. Uh, it didn't count right. Pathing Helix and Rattlebones Majestic. Got another Room Blade card. So that's cool. We're gonna need it. There's got ten more Room Blades in the game. Uh huh. Consuming Evolution, High Speed Impact, Plasma Barrel Shot. So I'm not, you know, I don't play the game as much. So, I, you know, as much as a, a, a pro would. So I say this all with a grain of salt, but. Oh, we got another Majestic. We got them angle. All right. I think we got all the ones we're supposed to get here. Um, but I remember when Crucible came out, people were not super hype about it. Um, because it wasn't draftable. And also because a lot of the cards weren't used too much, like. The, the Blitz Heroes, as well as the all the new weapons that they've added. Obviously, some of them are used, but like I feel like a lot of them are not used very often, as far as I could see. Um, and so I know some people are, are concerned a little bit that Ever Everfest will be similar, you know? I would hope a supplemental set would have quite a lot of cards in it that are useful and in, change up the meta and, you know... Are sought after that's what i would hope but i mean obviously time has uh okay i was like oh it's a normal border so it's probably like a, a rainbow foil common equipment and i was like wait this is crucible of war baby we got that rainbow foil gambler's glove i will i will take that gambler's glove probably top three still Always lovely to get a rainbow foil version. So I will say that's a pretty nice hit. Very, very happy about that. Normally I would put them all in the sleeves, but uh, yeah, I got time for that right now. I got time for that right now. Um, but rest assured, they barely move and I sleeve everything afterwards. So do not worry about that. I do normally sleeve everything, but you know, these are just gonna all go in my collection anyways. But we got another romping blade. Maybe, maybe Monarch, I'll start sleeving, you know. And we got, ooh, we got another Majestic. We have got <laughs> the Coax, a commotion, PVE, where are you at? I know Coax shot up because, of course, everybody, including me, kind of, thinks the question mark, question mark set is going to be um, PVE related, but I haven't checked it recently, so... All right, we have the last pack. We have a slow roll because we haven't done a slow roll in a while. We have copper. It, well, speaking of copper, is it finally time? Are we finally going to get the silver and gold? Everyone was expecting it for Monarch. People gave up on Tails. But, you know... People do pay for things at a carnival, right? People pay for things, maybe silver, maybe copper. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So maybe all of the, uh, the spoils of war specking might uh, finally matter again, you know? So obviously everybody go buy all of them up. Nah, just kidding, don't do that. But it does make sense to me that... Uh, you know, for a carnival, uh, it's, it's, it's copper silver time. And we got our first majestic uh, rainbow foil for the box right away. Plasma purifier. Definitely uh, a card that is, what am I doing? I'm, I, I'm so confused. Um, that is used, I, I feel like, in every mech deck I've seen. I, again, I don't play that much. But, but without crew, what are they going to do? Speaking of doo-doo, we got Unified Decree. 
If I remember correctly, that card is like the Alpha Rampage of that set. Not great. Not great. Uh, well, last set, or last box, we got some pretty damn good um, rainbow foils. Wait, is this rainbow foil? What is? All right. Give me that dollar. Um, we got we got the rainbow foil remorseless, and we got the rainbow foil gambler's glove, right? So that is pretty damn good. Let's see if this box has any heat in it. Again, if you're new, I mean, a why why'd you why are you still here? Uh, and b uh, uh, weird time for you to be new, but I uh, appreciate you joining in. Um, Crucible War only has two legendary, so they are much, much, much harder to hit. So I don't really expect expect one. But we got, hey, we're getting at least one. It's all spread out, like one of every or one of most of the uh, basic weapons. So I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Push forward. That is what we're doing. We got ourselves the Aetherize. The Aetherize. Still remember when, uh, what was it? The fir Those first two promo cards for a Monarch came out that were instants, and everyone's like, Aetherize! Let's fucking go! And then nobody really uses those instants. <laughs> what am I doing? Pool tab. Pool tab. All right. Overblast. Cash it in, baby. Cash it in. That is what some stores are doing with Unlimited, you know? The price tanking so hard, LSS was like trying to inject more money in, and uh, it's, it's working a little bit. Anathos, another one we didn't have. And we got the Chain Lightning. All right, we have uh, double Wizard Majestics. We got the Wizard Legs. What's the wizard equipment? Uh, the Metacarpus? Give me one of those, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, Krunik. We got the, the Runechan token. I mean, I'll take a Shiana. Never say no to Shiana. One day the Shiana love will, will be back. You know, she only gets stronger with age. We got a Righteous Cleansing, though. I don't think this is uh, remotely a hit, but great art. Great art, I will say. That goes there. There's go there. It's hard to keep track, to be honest, though, which ones are the, the hits or not. So someone's probably yelling at me, and probably rightfully so. That's actually a $10 card. And if it is, I'm happy. If it's not... I'm still sad, so it's no big deal. If you always expect the worst, another overblast rainbow foil. Okay. And speaking of which, we got that spoils of war. The Copper Boy. Um wait, I thought then which is which one's the card that, that talks about silver and gold then? Was it the cash in? Actually, let's go back here. Sorry, this is again just me and a memory thing. Um, cash in. Oh, it is the cash in that has it. Okay, silvers and golds. So it's the cash in specs. The cash in specs that you'd want to get back into. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Rushing River. Nothing good after that. All right. Well, this box. Kind of similar to the to 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 the Welcome to Wraith and Arcane, where the first box has some bangers, and the second box has some duds, but not a huge dud, but maybe a little bit of a dud of the equipments. We got the Skull Horn. All right, not the Metacarpus, but always good to get the equipments. Always good. But uh, I would like another Remorseless, please. Wow. Ah. It's, getting, it's a little bit hard to tell whether it's going to be like a, a rare weapon or an equipment, right? Like, oh, I guess the the side etching is slightly different. Oops, try to open it normally again. All right, 
getting near the end here. Nothing good, nothing good. Uh, I probably should have bought a full set of uh, rainbow foils when I had the chance. Maybe it's too late now. But I, I don't have a full set for uh, Crucible First Edition, which makes me sad. And I definitely don't have a full set for Unlimited. Oops. Are you a foil? I can't tell. All right, we got four more packs. We are almost, we're cruising. We're almost 75% done here. All right, we are cruising. But I would like to end with with the bang. All right, there's got to be one fable, right? There's got to be one fable in here. I guess Domblay. Okay. Wow, I I really do think we got at least like six uh, six of the eight. But hey, we got to find center. I don't know if this card is is worth a lot that much anymore, but it used to be worth a decent amount. I'll take that. Right. You know Ninja. Ninja's a, just a, a great um a, a a great class that that lots of new people like to play. Didn't get a new hero, so you know what? Or a talent, so it's coming. It's gonna be fine center's turn, baby. And for the last pack, blessing of serenity. Wah, wah. Well, the legendary streak is over for now. As I pile things right here in this corner. But let's continue. We have Monarch First Edition next. And then Tails First Edition. There's there's some bumps. There's some bumps. I don't like it. Some bumps in this play map. Get a little bump out there. Now let me stack the foils, stack the rares, and we have our Majestics. All right, two more boxes, two more sets. The two sets that are in print, and the two sets with Unlimited that no one gives a fuck about. Let's go. But this is first edition, not Unlimited. Let me just triple check here. Yes, it is. You were destined to be 1K at one point, and now you are but $160, $70 right now. Woof. It's been a long time since I've opened you. I've lost many a monies on you, Monarch, but oh, we got a box topper. Just kidding. Why is this one pack sideways? Maybe I dropped it or something. Oh, there's another sideways one. Concerning, concerning. Uh, Monarch also, uh, I would say the worst printing of all the, of all the cards. So, ooh, we're starting with a bobble. All right. Well, Monarch, it's been a long time. Please be good to me. All right. What is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then foil. No, eight, nine. How, how the fuck does this work? It's been so long. All right. Well, yeah, we got that. Then we got that, then we got two rares, then we got that. Um, huh? <laughs> huh? We got another bobble pack right away. Okay, okay, let me, let me try this again. Let me try this again. Okay, so they're at the back. So it's gotta be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's the eleven, okay. This is 12, and then we have equipment, and then rare and rare. I, this, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's confusing me. Now I know how those like Pokemon YouTubers feel when they switch between sets and they're, it, it's confusing. 10. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have Enigma Chimera. And equipment, and then our judgment, mutated mass. Okay. Oh, my brain, my brain is not great for my dumb brain. 
Mutated masks. I feel like that used to be a $2 card. Might be a dollar now. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember having to count every time and it was annoying. We got Guardian of the Shadow Realm. Our first Rainbow Foil Majestic. Let's give it a big uh, meh there. Hose of the Shadow Beast. Convulsions of, from the Bells of Hell. And Convulsions from the Bells of Hell. Monarch. Oh, I did not miss you. But you know what? Getting yeah, a library would change that. You know what I mean? All right. We got smashing with... Oh, this is the foil. Okay. Stubby Hammers. Phantasmify. Sonata. Arcanics. Another Majestics. Actually, three Majestics in the first four packs. Spicy. Spicy. I have still never pulled in myself the uh, Altar Galaxy. So you know what? I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. Seeds of Agony. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. We got Merciful Retribution. All right. Let's, ooh, hit the camera again. Let's see what we got here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Still getting it wrong. Glisten. Equipment. Glisten. And. Full reaping. Okie dokie. I messed that up. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I suddenly filled with all the memories of Monarch Pain. Eleven. Unworldly Bellow. We have Endless Maw and Unhallowed Rites. All right. I wonder what the EV is on a on a Monarch First Edition. It's been a while since I've watched Louis' videos for it. Um, we got a Void Wraith. Cool. Vexing Malice. Prismatic Shield. When was Monarch? I feel like it wasn't even that long ago, but it feels like, you know, a generation ago in, in trading card years. Or in, in, in age because of all the pain uh, from the market. We got Valiant Thrust, and we're spilling blood. That is absolutely what Monarch's doing to us. Spilling our blood. But yeah, real spicy cold foil, maybe? Maybe? Cross the line. Uh, maybe it was cross the line. Asking for good things. Dimensional gateway. Dimensional gateway. Same color. Let's go, Monarch. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Second swing. And two. Big horizon. Phantasmify. Wah, wah. Nothing spicy. Uh, what do you even look for in a Monarch box now? I think you look for these, the light cards, right? Celestial Cataclysm, Soul Shield. Actually, I have no idea what else is decent since it's been a while. It's nourishing emptiness. Okay, I actually don't know. But you know what? I may never get one. We got Chesty McChesty, Ghostly Visit. All right. Terrible and Tear Limb from Limb. Okay, we are not getting light cards, right? Yeah, two shadow and then the uh, the class cards. So, interesting. Interesting. I don't really know if it's interesting, but we do know that the light cards have the most worth. Herald of Nasty. And Prismatic Shield. Rise above. I do I do like the monarch art though. I know I I know a lot of people didn't like it. It's kind of boring shadows and demons. But I really like the the not class ones, you know, like um 
I guess except for illusionist, but you know what I mean? You know, not, not the basic class ones that kind of look like they're like a little bit out of nowhere, but the actual Monarch set ones like, Ooh, we got ourselves a Luminaris. I wonder if Luminaris is still worth some money. Um, I'm going to say no. Cause the limited is out. All right. Well, cold foil, still no cold foil. I forgot. I forgot we were, uh, opening first edition for a second. Cause no cold for us. Are we going to get a common? You're going to welcome me back from a long hiatus with a cold foil. Ooh, we got blue blinding beam, blue blinding beam, blue blinding beam. Shout outs to the people that know. And we got this. All right. Definitely one of those videos where we were starting strong and petering out seeds of agony again. Ripple the Pippa Ripples. We got Convulsions. And another Guardian of the Shadow Realm Majestic. Ouch. For the uh, most expensive box of all the ones I'm opening by at least double, this is not feeling great. Another Valiant Thrust. We have Dust Path Pilgrimage. Soul Harvest. Come on, Monarch. You got me. You got me, right? Nope, you're just going to smash a big old tree on me. We have nothing. You got Chain himself, though. All right. Just a couple more left. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know what it is, but we got a Doomsday Cold Foil. Ooh. Okay, well, it's not worth a lot. <laughs> I actually don't remember what these are worth recently. I think they're worth uh, pretty much uh, nothing. But you know what? We got a Legendary. All right, we got a legendary. Not a great one, but we got one, and it's better than nothing. Is it better than a cold foil common? No, I actually don't. Though I swear I remember seeing on TCG it was like thirty dollars, but I can't remember if that was the rainbow foil version or the cold foil version. I'm hoping it's the rainbow foil version, but even then, uh, that does not bode well for uh, what the cold foil version will be. <laughs> Um, but it is kind of crazy though that uh we hit three legendaries in uh in these boxes, you know. I'll take that. I I, I was a little worried we were gonna get a cold foil list box. Um, so at least that has been proven wrong. But we got the doomsday. But remember, monarch cases can be uh very ooh, we got old school blood tribute. Um, monarch cases are, are very uh grouped in my opinion. You got really hot ones and you got really cold ones. I believe the two boxes that I have I think came from the same case, but actually I I don't know for certain. Um so in the next part, whenever that is, definitely not today. Um maybe you'll see the other random box. But there it is. That is a box of monarch. I'm going to go ahead and, and very clearly say we definitely did not make our money back on that one. Um, I don't. Yeah, I. Yeah, but. It was a good time, right? <laughs> it was a good time. Oh, Monarch is pain. Oh, it is pain. But we have the last set. Tales of Aria first edition. I have not opened one in a while as well. Not, of course, nearly as long as Monarch, but uh, I have been primarily focused on Unlimited because now Unlimited is for collectors, not first edition. Um, 
We have our last box here. Are we going to go uh, four for five? Four for five per chance? No fables, though. It's a little sad, no fables, but... Uh, you know, I guess that YouTube video will uh, will one day come. All right, how does Zarya work? Two, three, four, five. All right, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, and then we have the R first, the uh, Rainbow Foil Awakening. Okay, I will take that, I guess. And then one, two, three, four. Huh? 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 Okay, we have the first. Thing. Oh, my brain can't handle sets. Uh, for the record, I, I, I have been opening so much Welcome to Wraith Unlimited and Arcane Unlimited in the last couple of months that I'm just so used to those. They, they, they open so well. Three, four, five, six. That's so five. Is it five? One, two, four, five. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Rare. Rare. Oil. Boom. We did it. I remember it. All right, let's end this with a bang. We got a cold wave. Exposed to the elements, our second majestic, and ball lining. God damn. See, then you just come to this set. I forgot. I forgot that the cold foils are in this slot, and that's not the one that I want. Yeah. Fuck me. Okay, okay, let me... Let me get this set up. I was going to say the foiling is great. Um, and we got ourselves a cold foil common. Let's go to the poor town because that means that this box will be worth nothing. <laughs> oh, let's go. Um, it, are, these le are these still $10? Could be $5 by now, to be honest with you. Don't really know. But, you know, cold foil, put in a case, you know? Awful, put in the case. Well, we are, we definitely went down. <laughs> we definitely went with like a decent legendary, decently priced legendary to a, a lower tier, to a lower tier, to a lower tier. Um, I guess there's a, a zero in there for, for, for a crew, but uh, yikes. All right, Weave Ice, Oak and Old, another Majestic so quickly, and a Buzz Bolt, a Buzz Bolt. All right. Well, I was gonna say that uh, opening uh, Aria is is really weird after the other ones because they put the cold foil in a different slot, so it could be missed. But I guess we don't have to worry about that anymore. I do. I do really wish. I again. I don't even know if it's possible. In theory, it's possible, right, to get the majestic in two. Another cold foil common. Okay. $20. Let's go. <laughs> or is it $15? Okay. Well, that now, now, now definitely there's nothing <laughs> else in this box to save us. <sighs> All right. Well, you know what? It's cold foil. Gets a hard case. This might be worth not much. Um,. Anyone, I should just sell these packs, you know? I should just sell them. Uh, explosive growth, summer wish shelter, dazzling crescendo. But goddamn, look at this. Look at the foiling now, man. Oh. Feels like I'm in another room, you know? Like the, the, the cards are so bright and so different. It's so weird to think that. I know Flesh and Blood doesn't really do blocks, you know, but. It, it it is so weird to go from uh, monarch directly to opening tails. Such polar opposites. We got Channel Lake Frigid, the normie version, and we got Lightning Surge. All right. I mean, I guess that is true. Uh, Altart Channel Lake Frigid could could save us. Could very well save us. Ice Quake, Cold Wave. Boltman shot. And then you get one of the old cards and you're like, huh? So dark. It's no fun anymore. All right, Embolden. 
Into a bolting shot again. Flash. All right. Maybe in the next episode, it will go the opposite order, right? Maybe it will be like nothing but better and better and better and better, right? I'm always looking for a theme, you know? Trying to find connections and things that have no connection. It's pretty much why I'm me here. Flashy Flash. Awakening. Hey, we got both the uh, normal and the rainbow foil. And we got the Frazzle Dazzle. All right, almost done with this mega long opening. Really appreciate everybody who stuck with me and uh, listened to my rambling this whole time. I don't know if I would have. Again, hopefully, if, you, if you've enjoyed it by now, you can uh, subscribe. You can like the video. I guess nowadays you can download the video uh, because uh, nobody will ever see it. So good job, YouTube. Um, Sting Sorcery. But uh, yeah, if you could like it and uh, again, subscribe to see at least the next episode. Then I may go dark again for quite a while until Everfest. But believe you me, despite my feelings on the game, still will definitely be buying some Everfest and still will be uh, opening it on this channel. So. Stay tuned for that, but we're not done. Well, I, I do think we're actually done. I, I really don't think there's anything else in here. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, I'm probably gonna check TCG after this, but uh, yeah, let me know if I, did I win or not win with these openings? I, I feel like if it was just unlimited, I definitely won. I think mo the Monarch box really kind of Put me in a put me in a hard spot, and this Toa box is not helping. Vigil of suffering. We got that ice storm and the bramble spark. Love me some bramble sparking. All right, a couple more. All right, the lightning, lightning press, lightning, lightning, and not lightning. We got a mark of lightning. Three more chances. Three more chances. Snapshot. Flash. Inspire Lightning. Two more. Is there a tree in here? Weave Ice. Seek and destroy. Another angry Aria, um, Azalea card. Of all I know. All right, last pack. Let's end this eight box opening special with probably nothing. We have lightning and Bragoning. We got that Bagoogoning and, uh, and nothing. All right, well, that is it. We ended up getting uh, Tectonic Plating, Storm Striders, Doomsday, Coat of Frost, and... Uh, runaways. I think that probably means the next episode will be a uh, big old L, but you know what? We're opening today. All right. I knew it was going to be a, a loss in the beginning anyways, but wanted to uh, open at least one of every set. Um, and we did it and we did it together. I appreciate everybody who watches again. Hopefully I upload this. I may never do it. Um, but appreciate everybody. Please uh, uh, watch out for the next one. All right. Until then. Bye.